The game is indeed very cool. Like every time I was, every time I had seen gameplay for the game, it just ended up being, um, it just, it just ended up being, it's gotten cool, and then it does something cooler, and then it kept doing, and it just kept going, and I'm just like, how many times do I have to say this is cool? Hey, anyway, rear DLC. I didn't know you were into butts, uh, Amadeus. I really think they should just call this Capcom Presents. It's just. Huh? Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Capcom Showcase. The Capcom Presents. Before we get started, we'd like to share that June 11th, 2023 marked Capcom's 40th anniversary. So that was yesterday. A big thanks to everyone for playing our games. It's thanks to our amazing fans that we can celebrate such a milestone. We look forward to creating many more games in the years to come. And we hope that you'll continue to enjoy them. I hope so too. Now it's time to show off our latest titles at the Capcom Showcase. I'm pretty sure we're gonna get Exo Primal soon. Stay tuned until I do like this presentational style. Anything. Let's take oh. a look at this video. Oh yeah, I remember I forgot that this was a game that they showed off literally yesterday. Kun Kunigami? Oh, it's not the Onimusha <laughs> game. Kunigami is what it's called, but I couldn't tell. I couldn't figure out what the game was called because the Japanese, I don't think, had an English to it. How much of the demo have you played? How are you doing, Rayo? Also, did you watch the? Did you catch up on the? Final Fantasy stuff from yesterday. Okay, we've seen this already, so I don't need to explain my thoughts. It looks interesting, and it looks different, and it looks cool, which is good. Happy Fast Day! Happy Fast Day to you too, Rayo! This is a very experimental game. It looks like uh, a Hades style game. But definitely Japanese in nature. Which I think is really cool. This, this is really good. This is a good way of going about it. Kunigami? I think it's what it was supposed to say. Traditional Japanese aesthetics come to life through the power of RE Engine. Yo, Gozos, happy Fast Day. Welcome to the stream. Action in this epic tale. Happy Fast Evening, I guess. World of mystery awaits in Okunitsugami. Okunitsugami, Path of the Goddess. Coming to Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, Windows, PlayStation 5, and Steam. I mean, that was cool, but I, can you tell me a bit more about the game? <laughs> like... Is it multiplayer? Mega Man X Dive Offline is coming to Steam, iOS, and Android. Is this a new Mega Man game? World, it is a new Mega Man game. Finally. I mean, I feel like this is the best one, best way to go about it. The deep walk which holds collected memories of the Mega Man X series is under attack. Dive into cyberspace using hunter programs to recover data before it's too late. Ah, uh, this is nice. I actually think this is nice. Play as Mega Man X and other characters from the Mega Man franchise. Including I want to play as the Mega Waifu. Before. <laughs> Ultimate armor. Oh wait, can you actually play as like villains too? Power up 
your weapons and more to customize your character. It's an I'm offline version of something that already sucks. What do you mean? Have you already chance to play it? Mega Man X Dive Offline. Control and develop over 100 different characters. Play as a variety of characters, including new heroes created for Mega Man X Dive. Complete stages. Oh, so you've played it? Memory pieces. Then analyze recovered memories to unlock characters. I think it's cool, but I do get what you mean. There are more than 900 stages to play. Oh, wow, that's a lot of stages. Mechanics and enemies await on classic and new stages. You're bound to clash with familiar bosses from the past. Build the ultimate hunter and save the deep log from total destruction. And it's nice that it's coming out on Steam. Is this the full game? Mega Man X Dive Offline launches in 2023. The fact that it's coming out on Steam is weird. Now, here's the Capcom Spotlight Corner. Hmm. Rashid. Street Fighter 6. Ah, okay. June 2nd. It's already received an enthusiastic welcome from fighting game fans around the world. Street Fighter 6. Okay, right. An expansive player story mode. I didn't know you were such a big Mega Man fan. The core fighting game experience made even more accessible. I thought like Devil May Cry was more your thing. And Battle Hub, a social space where players from around the world can compete and hang out. These are the game's three main modes. In addition, we're planning to release new fighters and content. Ah, there you go. Akuma's coming out next year. Long time to come. Street Fighter 6 is out now for PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox Series X, Xbox Series Why does it Steam. why does it start with 5 and then 4 instead of just 4 and then 5? I have always find that confusing. We also have an announcement for Capcom Pro Tour. Oh, the new logo looks cool. This year's Capcom Pro Tour will feature Street Fighter 6, the newest entry in the series. Of course it would. Starting out Evo Players from around the world will compete in regional matches and battle to be this year's champion. To celebrate the launch of Street Fighter 6, oh, I see, I see. we have our largest prize pool ever. The total prize pool for Capcom Pro Tour is over $2 million, with $1 million going to first place. Capcom Pro Tour 2023 will feature... You can lich be a literal millionaire. Online premieres, offline premieres, and world warrior. The winners of each tournament will advance to the World Finals at Capcom Cup 10. I'm surprised you're not going Capcom Cup X. And take home this year's championship. Yeah, same. Next, we have news about Street Fighter League Pro JP 2023. In Street Fighter League, the world's top players form teams of four and compete in official Capcom Team League matches. We have the largest number of teams ever. The opening match will be held on July 7th and will be streamed live on the Capcom Fighters JP channel on YouTube. And yeah, my coin is going to make me a quick meal. <laughs> Don't forget about the Street Fighter League World Championship. <laughs> Game Amadeus. Who's this Game Amadeus and how can we defeat a Daigo? Will determine the teams that will go on to compete in the World Championship. Punk who? Get up close and personal. I don't think we're going to hear anything about the DLC for version Evil 4. I think we're going to hear that closer towards uh, Halloween time because that feels like the best time to talk about it. Because I think that'll be a Resi showcase. Justin. Let's go! <laughs> Daigo Parry. No. The Armor Parry. The Armor Deus. Parry. RE4's cutting edge knife action is a core part of the game. And the PlayStation VR2 Sense Controller makes parrying even more intuitive. Experience extreme survival horror firsthand. I don't know about it yet. I want to play it. I hope I get a chance to demonstrate it. DLC exclusive to PlayStation VR2. Yeah, 
Oh yeah, Pragmata! Oh my god, finally we're hearing about the, the, the weird astronaut game. Dirty Diana. So did do. Ah, uh, don't you just hate escort missions? It's it's this uh, automatically. I feel it's really cute. Very sorry, <laughs> we don't know. Oh, that's actually pretty adorable. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I now want to protect this kid. Turns out Diana is actually the uh, the OP thing about it. Turns out my daughter is a weapon of mass destruction. Who knew? <laughs> Ah, uh, post nineteen. I mean, as long as I mean, it's a good concept at the very least. It's very much Last of Us in space, but I hope it's action heavy. It's almost time for Ghost Trek. Oh yeah. Here's the latest on the game. I wonder why why they used the the clapping noise for this. Hello everyone, I'm Shu Takumi, the original creator of Ghost Trek. It's all the Ellie fights back. Release. I mean, Ellie fights back it. in Last of Us. But first, let's get set with this. I do need to make emotes for these. Put it on my coffee. And then he dies. And then she dies. Oh, there's a demo! The demo for Ghost Rick is available now for download. The story says a lonely spirit named Cecil. In the Great, of another Cecil demo to download. He will meet and change the lives of all sorts of people in all sorts of situations. Things may seem unrelated at first, but each person plays a vital role in Cecil's story. And together, their stories will lead him to one ultimate truth. So think of the demo as a doorway, inviting you into a great big mystery. It's been 30 years since we made the original game. And just like Cecil, I met many new people, and there were many miracles that occurred during its development. I have no doubt these experiences are what shaped Ghost Trick into the unforgettable game of this. To the team that lovingly folded this game, and to all the fans who have shown so much love towards it, I'm so grateful to all of you. I'm thrilled that through this river, Ghost Trick will be available to so many more people around the world. Now, to wait for its release. Uh, and one more thing. I practiced very, very hard for two weeks for this appearance. I'll help so, so. Be me someday. It will make oh, me wait. Very Is he going to do the... He could speak in Japanese. Ah. Oh, okay. That's, that's actually adorable. That's actually really adorable. And then the the lamp just dances. The creator of the Ace Attorney series, Shu Takumi. This classic mystery game is being reborn. One night, a man named Sissel loses both his memory and his life. Using the powers of the dead, he tries to solve the mystery of his own death. The only clue he has is a red-headed detective. A night of mystery begins anew. A rookie detective, brimming with a sense of justice. She too is being targeted. And Sissel witnesses her death. They call me nearsighted Jigo. Yeah, I remember this. Was I? Why was I killed? Who killed me? I've forgotten if that was voice acting in this game. Was given these powers of the dead. Use the powers of the dead to possess and trick items. The controls are easy. Connect Sissel's glowing blue soul to the core of objects to possess them. Possess the tire. Possess the bowl. Possess the star ornament. You can then trick the objects you possess. Trick the guitar to play it. What will happen when you trick the cart? 
trick the door to open it. Possessing and tricking objects will let you access new areas. Sissel can go back four minutes before someone's death. What happened before her murder? Those clues are hidden in the past. Follow past events in real time. The limit, however, is four minutes. Help people avoid near-death predicaments and change their fates. Yay, fate was changed. Will face death in many this isn't spite of us. Changing their fates will change the story. And that story must be linked in Where's the where's the police officer? There he is. That's what we were waiting for. Ghost trick launching on June 30th, 2023. Has it been 13 years? Demo version available now. I remember meeting people who actually knew the dance in at MCM. See the official website for details. Now on to the next game in today's lineup. Ooh, is this a new game? World premiere! New game. Let's see what we're getting. What if? What if? What if? Apollo Justice? We get a new Apollo Justice game? Do 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 Actoon, baby! Oh, it's the remake! It's, it's, it's the old ones. They, they're finally putting these on console and then the thing on the newer game, on the newer platforms. Yes, let's go! The 3DS games are finally coming to a new console. That's actually really good. I'm not gonna lie, this is actually one of the better ones. I, I haven't played the one after this one, but it's great to see this come to like modern console. Ah, uh, yeah, Spirit of Justice is the only one I haven't played. I think I have the game on 3DS. There's three Apollos just pointing at people. And we also get, for some reason, uh... Oh, wait, did they just call this the Apollo Justice Trilogy? But the main character was three Enix right in two of them. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> in Ace Attorney, players serve as lawyers for the Excuse me, this is wrong. I'm just that telling you this now. This is wrong. <laughs> Capcom, please. I understand. You could have just called it the second trilogy. Phoenix Wright was literally the main character of Dual Destinies and Spirit Justice. To share the story of Apollo Justice and his allies in the dark. We do get uh, Apollo trilogy is a bit of a stretch. It is a very big stretch. <laughs> Windows a very big stretch, not gonna lie. The colorful characters and courtroom drama of each game have But all I remember is that because the second one was literally just Apollo is you know it's it's the whole uh Sonic the Hedgehog thing all over again. Oh man, when 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 what happened to Sonic happened, Tails lost it, and I was like this is basically Apollo Justice. This is Apollo Justice right in addition. Objection to everything included in this collection. Apollo Justice, it was so weird in Dual Destinies, but Apollo Justice is like the third main character in Dual Destinies. Not even, maybe not even the third, maybe probably fourth. He was like fourth fiddle. Next, we have some Capcom news to share. I mean, this whole thing is a Capcom news to share. I'm not trying to take the mic here. This month marks Capcom's 40th Monster Hunter. As part of the celebration. We've opened a digital theme park called Capcom Town. Ah, uh, this is similar to what the Sega 60th was. Take a stroll through the museum to view original artwork and other materials. I think it might have been done by the same display. lot, you know. You can even play a few of Capcom's beloved classics for free. Head on over to the castle to cast your vote in the Capcom elections. Participants will receive a special reward, so don't miss out. We all go for opposite we things in the orbit. Everyone up. to enjoy these attractions. Yay! Fun experiences we've prepared at. 
Oh, that's cute. A Capcom ID account is required to play Resident Evil RE-verse. Our new upcoming title, Exo Primal. And to use the online features of Street Fighter 6. You can also use this account with other Capcom services and campaigns, such as a survey about today's Capcom showcase. We'll release more titles and services compatible with Capcom ID soon. Register now for Capcom ID. I already got one. I don't need another one. Now for the latest on Exo Primal ahead of next month's launch. I feel like there's more that needs to be done for this. We know that Ryu is in here though. I really wish there was a... Uh, a I, I think I missed the, the, the beta for Exo Primal. Grand Kudasai. World premiere. Okay, why is it a world premiere? What what haven't we seen before? Hello? But I heard activity on this frequency. Hello? My name is Garrett Sands. Basically, the IP is Godfather. He was responsible for the entire... If it was a Dino Crisis game, it probably just would have been a better game. Like, more people would be interested in this. So then again, it probably wouldn't have been a Dino Crisis style game. Yeah, it's called crude oil. I mean, look at this. A neosaur. It's it's more it's more monster hunter. You know this. It's the same guy. This is all helping to make a better exosuit. Good hunting, Ace. I don't know if this made me more or less excited. It's very weird. July 4th. Witch Doctor, Deadeye, and Roblox ex exosuits. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, at least it's on it's on battle pa it's on Game Pass. I forgot to take part in the open battle beta tests. Ah,非常に多くのファイターの皆様にプレイいただきアンケートや Let's take a look at what you can expect when Exo Primal launches on July 14th. We get a lot of time on this, aren't we? I did. I did. I don't know if I'm going to get through. 
Also, I'm pretty annoyed with the Bandai Namco system because it won't let me log back into my account. Play through Dino Survival, the game's main mode. Gathering intel to update the analysis map unravels the mysteries surrounding parallel worlds and the AI entity known as Leviathan. At times, players will also engage in special boss battles as part of the main story. Dino survival mode will also change as the story progresses. You'll unlock new missions with a variety of objectives, including 10 player co-op, a multitude of dinosaurs to fight, and more maps. How many you dinosaurs can I kill? Assortment of unlockables and challenges. Same. I highly doubt I'm gonna get in because I think I picked the the wrong uh, uh, wrong game wrong console to go for. I went with the PS5 one, which I'm pretty sure is the most popular one. Um, I should have gone with the Xbox one. I think that would have been more likely for me to get in. Such as exosuit skins, weapon skins, decals, and emotes. The game also features a special five-player mission that changes weekly. Compete with squads from around the world for the fastest completion times or by earning awards through achievements like most damage block with a tank suit in battle. I really don't think this was the right voice to go with. It's too... It's, it's not that I don't agree with the voice actor. The voice actor has not done nothing wrong. But the direction is not... It's very droll. I want to be excited for it, but they're trying to seem cool when it's more like it should just be really high octane over the top. Like, high personality type should be the voice of the trailer, in my opinion. But that's just me. Who was that new face at the beginning? He just said his name. It's Garrett Sines. Dr. Sines, the developer of the exosuits and the head of Anchor Division. IBS's elite research group based on Bikitoa Island. The Stratovator, a space elevator that extends from the Anchor Division research facility into orbit, will also be a place. This probably would never work. Incredible battle. Like a space elevator would never work. Because I think the Earth would probably break the elevator. Players will even encounter Like the the thing would have to be in constant orbit. The most deadly among them being the Neo T Rex. You'll need to work together with your team. Turns out the Neo T Rex is like the third least. Oh no. Is that a swarm thing. of Neo T Rexes? What are Leviathan's true intentions? It's big the best Esco suit. What are you talking Wait, about? What's it's the deal with this new exosuit? While it may look similar to Deadeye, this exosuit is a variant called Deadeye Alpha Burst Fire. It also looks like a Mega Man uh, exosuit. This variant comes equipped with a weapon that can burst fire or be used as a shotgun, allowing exofighters to change their style of play. Exosuit variants, including Deadeye Alpha, will be added to the title <laughs> update following the full... I mean, yeah, I would just... To be fair, it's, uh, space elevators have been in, like, many different things. The idea is actually cool, but it wouldn't work, because if we, you know, it just, just by the fact that the Earth spins would make it difficult to keep something like that in place. That's why um, a space station is in constant orbit and not completely directly connected to the planet. At least that's my thing. We're excited to announce that we'll be holding a second open beta test. This time we're including additional story related missions. 10 player co-op missions. Oh, that's cool. 10 players. And other adjustments based on everyone's feedback. Uh, I don't know if I'll get time to play this. That's this weekend, right? Dainikai I just hope this game does not become dead on arrival or go the way of Babylon Fall. You know? Did he say last, let's smash them? Oh, he said, let's have fun. Next up is the last title we'll be showing off. Ah!
I'll never forget. It's no san. He looks very excited, and I'm happy that he is excited. Conviction is the human will that reaches its greatest power. It looks epic, I'm not gonna lie. Oh really? That's nice to know uh goes as well. Ah uh, what? Medusas? Harpies? Peregrines? I feel like there was more to that trailer and they just cut it early. Why did they cut the trailer early? That seems such a weird cut. いかがでしたでしょうか。ドラゴンズドグマシリーズは2012年に第1作が発売された。オープンワールドアクションです。10年の時を経てドラゴンズドグマ2が正当な続編として登場します。本日はドラゴンズドグマ2にも継承されている。本シリーズの特徴的な2つの要素。ストリプレイなのにネットワーク上の他の誰かと一緒に冒険ができる楽しさと、リアルに描かれたオードファンタジー世界での自由なアクションについてご紹介させていただきます。本シリーズでは、A
メデューサなどの新しい魔物も登場しますもちろん新たな曲もご用意しています他にも本作ならではの新しい体験の数々も待っていますのでぜひ続報にご期待ください本日はありがとうございましたイエーイ Oh, that's cool. Dragon's Dogma 2 will be available on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, and Steam. And now, a quick look at the Capcom 40th anniversary sale. Kicking things off, we have well known titles such as Dragon's Dogma and the Ace Attorney series. Don't miss this opportunity to pick up a few of Capcom's most influential hits at some great prices. To celebrate, we're also offering a limited time bundle of some of Capcom's major titles on Steam. That wraps up today's Capcom Showcase. Thank you for watching. We're always working on new games and updates. I mean, I'm happy, for, I'm happy for Ace Attorney, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, people getting more info in Dragon's Thanks Dogma is great. Exo Primal getting having more updates is great. But I kind of wish there was something a little more、uh, exciting, or、uh, something a bit more brand new. I did like the Pragmata trailer, not gonna lie. I did like the Pragmata trailer. But damn, man, that was, that was definitely on the more lo fi end of things. Not gonna lie. Kind of wish there was more. Um, but then again, I'm hoping that everyone who did got, get what they wanted got what they wanted. It's just stuff we are kind of already knew, with the exception of Ace Attorney. I think that's the only real.、Uh, the Capcom game was fine. Ah, L, L, L. Well, no, we're fine. I mean, it's not that bad. It's just, I, I know what I didn't get. I'm sad I didn't get what I wanted, but it didn't make it a bad shout. It was just more, I wish there was something more of a thing. Ah, Ghost Trick. Ghost Trick is, is, has been announced. It's just, it's coming out. If you like the Phoenix Wright series, you'll like the, the Ghost Trick game because it's made by the same people. It's nice that the Ace Attorney,、uh, the, that, um, the, um, forgotten his name. Not Ace Attorney Trilogy. Well, how, have I, how have I forgotten his name? Here comes Apollo Justice. That's what it is. The Apollo Trilogy. Is, it just feels wrong to call it the Apollo trilogy. That's the problem I'm having with it.、Um, the, only, the two games.、Um, was, that, was that two Apollo Justice games? Or maybe there's only the one.、Um, the, the Apollo Justice game was really, really good for what it was. It's not what we wanted, but it's like the whole Raiden situation all over again. And Dual Destinies kind of fixes that. That's the problem. Like, Dual Destinies would literally fixes the whole、um, Apollo Justice problem. And then I don't know how much effort uh, Spirits, um, what's it called? Spirit, I forgot what the Spirits game was, but I don't know what efforts meant that、uh, Apollo Justice was necessary to that third game.、Um, Athena Sykes was more important in, this, in, the, in Dual Destinies because it was all about her. Like the main, the, main, the, the main story was about her. So it's a bit of a weird one. The second one, like Apollo Justice, was more about Trucy、um, than it was about Apollo Justice itself. It just happens to be he happened to be the main attorney. The irony of Dual Destinies is that he wasn't the main attorney, but he, the, one of the biggest events that happens in the game is to do with him. And then I can't speak on the last one. The last one, I think, is more about Mia f e i Um, sorry, Maya f e i So, you know, I feel, I feel like calling Apollo Justice is a bit wrong. I think, I think you might need to rebrand that one. <laughs> But at the same time, fine, I guess, if you want to call it the Apollo Justice arc. I don't know what other name you could have done. I think a better shout would have been to go with the investigation series because we don't actually have a,、um, a pack of Ace Attorney at Miles Edgeworth games. Especially the Japanese ones that haven't come out in the West yet. I think that would have been a better shout. 
Um, so I would I would have gone with that. Like go with Phoenix Wright and then go Miles Miles Edgeworth. I guess if the, if Apollo Justice does well enough, then because I think a lot of people really enjoy the main uh, Phoenix Wright series, but they don't really want to go with the Miles Edgeworth route uh, just yet because his play style is quite different. Um, it's it is still um, point and click, but it's more three D. Like you have an a world, you have a three, you have models that move around and so on and so forth, um, which I thought was actually pretty much fine. I thought that was better in some ways. So yeah, it wasn't it wasn't the most interesting. It was in the sense of um, uh, I I think a lot of people wanted something a little more drastic or a next more of a next step to what it is. But I you know it's fine. We're probably gonna get another Capcom showcase or a Resident Evil showcase close, closer to. Halloween, they always do one around that time. So, if people missed out right now, I just don't think it's that time. Uh, it's nice that they did re-announce the Street Fighter Six uh, Capcom World Tour, Capcom Cup stuff. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm excited for Apollo Justice getting you know new people playing it. I don't feel the need to play it because I've already played it once. I just need to play um, the the last Ace Attorney game that came out on the 3DS. I don't know that one, and I need to play the great Ace Attorney games. I've not played those. Um, Capcom, if you're listening, you know, shout out, thanks. Um, and change the goddamn thing to Capcom presents. Jeebus, man, you're you're leaving, you're leaving the whole thing on the floor. <laughs> Just call it Capcom presents. God's sakes, as much as I want to call it a showcase, there's too many things called showcase. Just give yourself some confidence and call yourself Capcom presents. You know. Just call these events Capcom Presents. It, it, trust me, you will do fine. You will be fine. More people will be hyped for it because people want to see an MVC. And while they might complain about MVC, you you know that's not their own decision to make. You know you don't have to always have Capcom Presents only be stuck on MVC. 